Hi, this is Carl. Welcome back to this video in the Rotary Tool Series. In this video, I'm going to be asking a favor for all my viewers. And I'm going to ask you to send me some suggestions. If you've got any comments or suggestions, please list them in the comment section below or shoot me an email. Scrollsawvideo at gmail.com. I'd appreciate you giving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. Okay, friends, here's what we're going to be reviewing today. Now, granted, I have never used one of these before. And I bought this because I found it interesting. I found it for $2. These are sold on Amazon. Excuse me, these are sold on eBay for anywhere from $7.97 to $18 plus shipping. So for $2, I, I figured can't, I don't have anything to lose. So it's called... The angle plunge is made by Milescraft, part number 1001. Now, if I read the container right, this is mainly used for grout removal. But we're going to see what else we can use it for. Like I said, this I've never used one of these before, so this is going to be a surprise for me just like it is for you. I'm going to open this thing up have my razor knife here. I'm going to cut it down this way. Cut across this way. Let's cut it down this way. Didn't do too good of a job of cutting, but we'll get it open. Let's see what we have here. That's a very heavy duty blister pack here. Toss this over in the trash can. Okay, here's what we have here. We have the, the main unit right here. We have the instruction manuals. And we have two grout bits right here. Go ahead and take these out and look at them. Now these grout bits are different. Let's see if I can hold it up closer so you can get a better look. Hopefully that's focused in. Now these two grout bits are different. They're approximately two inches long. This paper here has a little bit of uh, description on the back ah, who needs that let's take this over here who needs that either there's the instructions I'm going to open this up I'm sure it's a good idea to read this but we're not going to. Here's what we want to look at. Milescraft. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer look. Okay, on the side here has a knob. Loosen this knob. Let's see here. not turning maybe here's another knob let's see what happens if we lose this knob here okay that's the plunge part this knob right here we'll make this plunge in and out hmm. we'll see how useful that is now it has a uh, index right here on the side for if you want to turn this, I'm trying to turn this, but it's not doing too well. Here we go. I have to kind of force it a little bit. Seems seems like it's well built enough for for what it's going to be used for. Like I said, it's meant to be for grouts, grout removal. 
on your tile, like in your bathroom or behind your sink or whatever. So, I don't know. Maybe we can find something useful for this other than using for grout. I don't know about your bathroom, but my bathroom has one of those showers, bathtubs, that does not have any tile. Nor does my kitchen. My floors don't have any tile, which means I don't really need a grout removal. So, playing along with this, for some reason I can't get it to go down very well. Let me just loosen that up, see what happens. Loosen up this screw here. There we go. I can loosen up this screw. Let's take it up quite a bit. Now you can see right here, there's like a little ledge. So when you push it down, that is what stops it from plunging. You can see how wobbly it is, so it's not totally accurate. Let me tighten this up, see what happens. Yeah, it doesn't plunge anymore, but it's still wobbly. Let me tighten this one up, see what happens. Okay, still wobbly. Loosen this, it plunges okay. So let's hook up a Dremel to it, see what happens. Take off this multi chuck, take off this screw right here, and it should screw right onto here. This is a Dremel model 300. I want to twist it on here. Done. Okay, it looks like while using this, you cannot use the multi chuck. You have to use the, the, the wrench with the collets. So, here we go. Still very wobbly. I do have a use for this, it might work. When I'm doing my scroll saw projects, drilling starter holes, this might be a good addition. Except for it being wobbly, as can be. There's an example of how wobbly it is. Let me. Doesn't seem to tighten up better than that. Tighten this one up. Still going to wobble. So if you're going to use it for your scroll saw drilling starter holes, it would not be recommended for precision starter holes for like in veining because it's wobbly. But if you have open areas that need to be drilled out, this will be pretty good. My overall opinion on this, out of a 10, I would give this possibly 5.5 to a 6. I'd like to hear what you think. If you find one of these for $2 like I did, I would recommend buying it just to try it out. Use it in the arsenal. I'd love to hear if you have any other ideas what this could be used for besides the recommended grout removal. In my opinion, using a scroll saw starter holes. Please leave a comment in the section below. I appreciate it. Let other viewers know what you think about this. If you've used this for anything else, please let us know. Appreciate watching. Please give me a thumbs up below. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. That way you'll know when I have other videos uploaded. I appreciate you watching.